Man, I can't believe my Achilles broke in that last match. Sanky! Yes, Sanky, it is I. Sanky. You broke my partner Achilles, and now we must rebuild this Beyblade. I have the technology to make this Beyblade faster, stronger, and better than the original. From the ashes we will rise again, my Achilles. Your evolution will become a reality. So today for our Beyblade show, we are taking a look at the B129 starter Chozetsu Achilles 0000 Dimension. This is an evolution of Z Achilles, since previously Z Achilles was destroyed and Iger, or Iga was forced to evolve. We now have Cho Z Achilles. So really interesting too that this bay actually comes with a LR launcher, and it is in the theme of Achilles, which I like a lot. Also, something that's pretty cool is that it actually has the longest ripcord out of all the LR launchers. So, that's that's already enough of a reason to cop this one. So, something else to mention. This bay has the new Shizetsu system that Valkyrie, Shizetsu Spriggan have. Where it has the burst stopper and also has sort of either it's a wing or some little tab that comes out when you launch it. And you get like a really good launch with it. Instead of uh, having maybe three points or two points, this Achilles has four different points of contact on it. So when you launch the base super, super hard, it'll activate the burst stopper. And what the burst stopper system basically is, is sort of when the base is very close to bursting, the little uh, disc will hit that little tab and it'll stop it from bursting. So it gives the bay another chance to survive. What's also cool is it shows the full power version of Iga when he gets his hair all red and everything. Just to show you, it talks about the two metal points right there, which Achilles actually has. It's very tricky, actually. And it's two metal points where it's like sort of like the big blade that Achilles has. However, uh, the other part of it is, is uh, metallic paint, so that's a little tricky. Other side too, just shows off what it comes with. So now looking at the back, you can see Shizetsu Achilles is the lair. Uh, double O, which I believe this is the heaviest disc to date. So that's actually pretty cool. And also Dimension, so Dimension is really interesting. So with Dimension, it basically kind of works like Extend Plus, where there's three different heights to Achilles, and I guess also different modes too. What's really cool about this is that there's a little, oh, right there, it's like a little tab, and I guess as you twist it, you either have the option of it being flat, or you have the option of it having that little thing right there. I don't know how good that driver is gonna be, but it's very interesting to see. I also like too how it sort of reminds me of uh, the Turbo uh, Slingshot gimmicks, how you kind of have to twist the performance tip and kind of alter it. I like that, that's kind of cool. So other parts too, just to show, here's some other stuff that I mentioned before, like the longest uh, string. So let's actually take a look at the bay. Also, quick thing since I forgot to mention, there is a tab for your Super Bay Logger if you want to put your Chozetsu Achilles on there, show it to your friends that you actually have that bay. So some other stuff to go over is uh, the Chozy Customize Guide that uh, every single bay comes with, except for the boosters. You can see for the first combo, it is an attack type combo, it is Chozetsu Achilles 12 Dagger Evolution. That's interesting. Then after we have Chozetsu Achilles 10... Yeah, that's, uh, all right, yeah, anyways, so the Achilles is uh, 10 Expand Absorb. Then after we got one combo for Air Knight, which is a defense type, Air Knight, double O, uh, Bump, Friction. But we don't have Air Knight as of yet. Shout out to Canada Post for taking so long to give us our packages. But uh, we will do a video on Air Knight whenever it comes. And also, teaser for Dead Phoenix for next month. So on the other side, just explain the LR launcher. And I believe it's also explaining how you're actually supposed to use Chizetsu Achilles. We do have this LR launcher right now. It's like in the theme of Achilles. That's like, you still get a pretty good launcher and you get a decent uh, Achilles bait. Well, I haven't, I haven't tested that yet, but I'm gonna be comparing it uh, to some other LR launchers that I actually have uh, with me. So we're gonna go from here to here. All right. That's how far the blue launcher can go. Actually, we just did the measurement uh, for this LR launcher for the from the comes from the Achilles. We did the one that uh, is for the Extend Plus, and we also did uh, the basic red LR launcher. So, what's the measurement for this one that we got? Forty-six. Forty-six centimeters. This. 
Almost 59 centimeters. Almost 59, and this one was like small. 33. 33. So overall, this is actually the longest uh, string, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything that's longer, for at least right rotation anyways. So we have Chizetsu Achilles out of the package and everything. I love Chizetsu Achilles. It really went crazy. So comparing the layers together, you can kind of see it does lose the pieces of metal that's on the top and the bottom. However, it's become much more bulkier and it still does actually keep these metal blades even though they might be a little bit shorter. The fact that it's bulkier and it actually keeps more metal than even Valkyrie Spriggan or Geist Fafnir is crazy. And I'm saying those bays specifically because those bays are evolutions of the previous ones and it's very surprising how they actually come up like as the bays keep on coming with less and less metal. So. Lair does have four parts of, as I guess, the shield, which is the back and the front here, and then after the wings, which are inside here. So you can see the wings there, so it's like four different points. So you got the defense wings, you got the attack wings. So when you do a super strong launch, you'll activate the burst stoppers, which come up there and there. So now we have double O. Very interesting on the shape. It kind of looks like if 0 and 11 made a fusion together, since this is 0 and this is 11. So, heaviest disc to date, and as we move on to the Dimension Driver, very interesting. So, Achilles is a driver, technically went through three evolutions. I know, two evolutions, I mean. So, it was Extend, and then after it got to Extend Plus, and then after we have the Dimension Driver. So, just comparing the two, in the shortest height possible, the Dimension Driver is still a bit taller. Still a bit taller. So then after, as we switch on to the modes, there's Stamina, there's Defense, and the tallest one, which is Attack. Just to see if it can really match it on that height. So, you can see that there's this little tab right here, and it's there at the start. But so at the start, it's pretty short, and you can kind of see that little tab there. But then after, you can see as you move it, it will become flat again. As you change the height, the little tab thing will come back out. After, as you keep on going up, it goes flat, and the little tab thing will come in, go out, etc. And then after, at the tallest height, it becomes like an attack type. And then after, if you want to adjust it again, you can make it back to have a little thing there. So, as you keep on moving it, you either keep the little tab thing there, you'll have it in attack type, or the tallest is an attack. Now, it is surely going to be interesting. Since if you kind of do a slide shoot with it and you get it on that angle, especially on the tallest height, you could have some pretty powerful attacks. I think, very funny enough, since there are only two parts of metal there, it's like a double-edged sword. If you're able to really utilize the bay, then I feel it's a force to be reckoned with, but I do feel this bay could have the sort of balance as a weakness. If you don't get those hits in, it's probably going to be really easy to knock down. So now we're going to be comparing some disc weights to the double O. So latest one, Zenith. And Zenith is around 24, 25 grams. We have outer, 22, 23 grams. We have zero. Zero is 24. We have 10. 10 is 24, 25. Now let's see double O. 25, nice. All right, here's Shizetsu Achilles fully assembled. Now for how tight this bay is, how good the teeth are. I think these are okay. I don't think they're that crazy. The burst stoppers are definitely gonna help this one when you get a super power launch. One to 10, this is like maybe a seven. It does depend on the battles though, I could be wrong. For the stock that it has in everything, seven, seven and a half. All right, so here we have Chozy Achilles, and yes, it looks awesome. We're gonna be doing the test launch. I'll do it in uh, all the modes that it has. We're gonna see how crazy this is. So first off, I wanna show, so I'll do a light launch. Pretty casual launch. If I launch really hard. Now relax there. See that? Oh, one of them came out actually. Yeah, I felt that one. That kind of hurt a bit. So here we got all the wings out. It's pretty tough. It's a little hard to do. Uh, if I were to rate it out of the three bays, I think Spriggan's the easiest to activate the burst stoppers. Valkyrie, it's a little bit harder. Achilles, it seems like it's going to be like the hardest. So let's do a test launch in each of the modes. Now I have this little tab thing there. So let's see. So that's where it's like pretty regular. 
with a little tab sticking out. The other one where it's like basically an attack type. So then after, if we keep on twisting the dimensions, that becomes an attack again. So we get to the next level. So this is where this little tab thing should be. So this should be uh, the second level. That's the second level. And it's like an attack type. So then after when we try to go to the final, final height. If you do a little slide shot like that, then after I think it's a little bit better for when you're trying to get hit. This bay is a little bit of a mystery sometimes. I guess I'll say needle out or needle in anytime that I'm switching up the heights for battle so it's less confusing to the viewer. My original Z Achilles. So first round. Rip. All right, let's try to put both of them in attack. Oh, that's an RIP. All right, so this Achilles is in its stamina mode. All right, so to make it a little bit interesting, instead of just doing some other like standard stadium, I want to try out this, uh, I believe this stadium was with uh, Fang Fender. Dead Hades! So that was Achilles on its shortest height. Let's put it on the tallest height now with the needle in. Hades. So now we have the Hasbro Rail Rush Bay Stadium. We're going to be testing out some other matches now. Let's do Chazetsu Spriggan against Chazetsu Achilles. Hey, Spriggan! I got the burst stopper out, or at least one of them. Let's uh, switch the rotation on Spriggan and I will remove the wall frame. And Achilles is in middle height with the needle out. How far did it actually get to bursting? It only really got one click on Spriggan. Spriggan's burst stopper is even uh, fully activate, and Chizetsu Achilles is still pretty tough overall to get the wings to activate. That's not really a negative for the bay, this is the fact that I really do have to learn this bay. This bay has a lot of weight and power to it, but the cool thing is with this LR launch is that at least now, it gives you a little bit more ability to be able to get the full 100% and the cool thing is too for bays like Spriggan it's a little bit easier to activate the 100% Valkyrie in the full power and 100% are pretty easy to get out just with Achilles man Achilles is a little bit tough final battle between Achilles and Valkyrie Achilles will be on its shortest height with it being an attack with a needle in and Valkyrie is Valkyrie let's see what's gonna happen Oh no! Hey, the burst! I actually had to put that back in. The burst stoppers actually did help me quite a bit. Yeah, alright. So, overall, I think I got the both of them out that time. I did actually. That's good. 
So overall with this Achilles, it is very difficult to control. The Dimension Driver is still a little bit wacky. I don't really think the Dimension Driver is too viable. It looks pretty interesting. I think on your maybe a different bay, it could be very useful. I would still recommend using Extend Plus off the previous Achilles uh, for combos for it, even if you just want to keep uh, the double O. I still think this bay is uh, worth a cop, even though the teeth on this for the one that I have are a little bit eh. It still does, you get a good LR launcher, and you at least have a pretty heavy disc. Out of 10, I would give the whole thing maybe a solid 8, but uh, that, that's it for now. If this video can actually get to 1,000 likes, I might do a video pretty soon that's uh, similar to some very special videos I've done in the past. Keep your eye out. And uh, yes, I am aware of the Black Jizetsu Achilles. When more arrive, hopefully we'll be able to try to pull one. But for now, have an awesome day.